Three more, three presets more. Hello everybody, so good to see you again. I'm Paul, this is my humble YouTube channel and my humble studio, Warsaw Poland. Guys, this week is an Arturias week in the studio. I was just about to drop a video about my new Mini Freak, but guess what? Pigments 5 is out, yes, just yesterday, and I cannot hesitate and I have to review it for you today and answer a question. Is it the right time, finally, to buy this synth if you haven't already? Because if you own it, the update to version 5 is free. So, let's go. Yes, yes, if you think my audio madness makes any sense, if you like my channel, my studio and my videos, you can always subscribe somewhere here in the corner. You can get notified, you can like this vid and comment on it down below so that we have one more discussion. Thanks. I've got Pigments 5 in front of me, I also have a list of its new features, so maybe we can make this review quick, like in 10 minutes, doesn't happen too often to me, but let's try. And the first new feature of uh, Pigments 3 that we will not take a look at directly is CPU performance, because it's got official multi-thread support which potentially changes a lot and lets you allocate your system, your hardware resources better. But of course, we cannot see this on the screen, but you know what, maybe at the very end of the test, we will do some stress tests, like playing as many uh, pigments instance, instances as possible. Yeah, maybe that's a good idea. So that was the first thing. The second one are new wavetables and samples. So new synthesis content. And this is actually what I would really like to start. So we've got our... Oh, the welcome sound changed to something very flat, very plain. New wavetables. I've got it s sorted out for me. Good. Maybe like this, and maybe you will use envelope to modulate this thing a bit. Uh, anyway, guys, yeah, already a cool sound. Mm, let's add a, a new sample. Pigments 5, yes. It's really cool that it's all organized uh, through versions of the synth, so you know what the new content is. This is cool. Yeah. Mm. A bit weird, maybe, not typical bass-like sound. Cool. Mm. Let's just add an effect. There are no, no new things in the facts, I believe, but I'd like to hear... Yeah, like this. So, we've had a very short, not even run. We just picked a new sample a new wavetable to create the basics of our new sound, because of course the best way to review a synth is to create a patch. And the next feature, the new one on this, is Generative Sequencer. So it's here, and I've got something called Generation. And... Uh, okay, and what's this? major, minor, harmonic, so I can choose a scale that my new sequence will use, or a preset, they are, they are exclusive, so or the full scale, or some notes inside minor, major scale, I don't know, let's take whatever, and let's generate. Okay, this is cool, but I would work a bit on this sound still. Trance-like thing a bit, I like it better. And maybe now, after the reverb, I would take... Yeah. 
Yeah. Let's get back to this generative sequence and let's press it again. Very cool. Uh, recently, I reviewed uh, reviewed a um, generative uh, sequencer on a new uh, Avenger 2 synthesizer. You'll find the vid here. Uh, and this one is a bit more limited. I cannot tweak it in any way because I can only choose the sequence preset like, ah, wait, aha. Okay, I've got some settings here. What if I turn them all off. Yeah, but note density. I cannot tweak any note density, I think. I... Maybe I'm missing something, but or maybe it's just really limited. I'm afraid this thing is, for now, it's really limited. I mean, it's cool, but it's kind of like the basics. It's a good thing, good starting point. I wish Arturia developed this generative sequencer a bit. Arturia is definitely a synth that seriously want, makes me want making some new stuff. And it simply invites me to make music. Uh, every time I place it on my screen. It's the same with version 5. Okay, new samples, new wavetables, plus generative se sequencer. This is really cool. What else is there? External audio in. We're not gonna test it right now, not to create too much hassle. But you can use uh, sidechain input, because every VST uh, offers a sidechain input, like 3 and 4 input, into the synthesizer, using the sidechain input of the synth, you can feed it with external audio. So you can use the effects and filter section for any other of your synths, which is cool because Arturia's uh, effects and filters are really cool on this one. And I would just only think about one improvement. Let's make pigments an effect, an, a VST effect on its own, so we can throw it as an insert uh, on your instrument channel. That would be really something cool. Again, it's a good starting point to develop uh, pigments into a fully-fledged FX unit. Another new thing is the improved GUI and um, general look of the synth. I mean, I was always fine with the look of pigments. I can't even tell you any difference. I think this play section looks a bit different. It's It, it looks a bit, a bit refreshed, maybe better laid out. I don't know. But I, I don't really care. Do I have any skins? I never, never even tried to use a skin. Theme. Light. Uh, still loading for some reason. Come on. Yes, uh, I don't even know if it's a new thing because I never even tried to use a skin on pigments. It's cool. It's also very, very clean and I know what's going on. It's not maybe that good for my eyes. My eyes would get too tired looking at this, so I'll switch to classic and new presets. This is the last new thing on the synthesizer. So shall we save this patch? Yes, the preset is saved. Now let's run through some factory presets. Sound banks again. Pigments 5 is here. Let's take a listen. I like the bass presets, new new bass content. 
seems really cool. Oh, like, please, like, three more, three presets more. I think I will play with this synth a bit today. It's cool, new presets are cool, new content is cool. It's not like a revolution inside this synth, but it's really, really cool. And I'm really looking forward to what's next. But you know what? Let's sum the things up. So, what do I think about Pigments 5? Well, generally I think that Pigments is a cool synth. It's a really good one. And I use it a lot, and version 5. There are not too many changes, they are not too revolutionary. But they add up, they stack with all the previous features of the synth to make it even better. And this generative thing is, is probably the coolest thing for me. But I would like to see this a bit more expanded, a bit, a bit more tweakable, let's say. So I'm really hoping for Arturia to develop this thing more, because as for now, it really behaves cool. All the rest of, of course, is cool. The, the performance, the audio performance, as you could see, is really also cool. So I'm just looking forward to what's next in any further version 6 of Pigments. For now, guys, thank you, take care, and see you soon.